we gotta stop playing dumb, Nigel, pretending like we don't see what's going on. We have to embrace the infelicitous truth of our reality. TikTok is the future, man. <laughs> it is the YouTube of 2010, and anyone who fails to adopt this truth is going to be let out behind the shed and put down with a 22 caliber rifle called Innovation. No, Mama. There's no hope for him now, Travis. <laughs> Adapt or die, mother mm. Hello everyone and welcome back to a thimble full of JFK's cryogenically preserved semen. <laughs> My name is Leon Lush, I'm so grateful that you're here. Listen, whether I like to admit it or not, the internet moves quick and I gotta do everything I can to try and keep up. And right now, <laughs> TikTok is in full sprint mode. Where are all the kids spending their time? TikTok. Where are all the freshest 15 second lip syncing videos coming from? TikTok. Where's the most viral cringe online originating? TikTok. Where should you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Well, just below the video, there should be a little button you can smash if you do want to subscribe. You don't have to, it's up to you really, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but that's besides the point. What I'm getting at is my dear friend Ryan Trahan, maybe you've heard of him, big YouTuber. He's on episode like 235 of his YouTube series about his quest to 1 million TikTok followers. I mean, this man is 20 years old and in the prime of his influencerness. His what? His in he's in the prime of his influencerness. And he knows just how important those TikTok follows are. And herein lies my dilemma. I mean, besides genocide and running out of toilet paper, mid defecation, what is the worst imaginable thing you can possibly think of? I'll give you a hint. It's boomers on TikTok. <gasps> so how does a 90s kid like myself put down his third eye blind cassette tapes and pick up an affinity for this new wave of entertainment? Well, that's very simple. I just look at the great boomer TikTokers that have come before me. So I did a video yesterday talking about how boomers are always complaining about young people wanting stuff for free when really they just want things that are affordable. What the hell is um, this? So in going back and forth on comments about that, I uncovered a few facts. So we're going to use 1975 what? as the base. Okay. In 1975. No. All right. Listen, bro. I didn't come on TikTok to sit in on a social studies lecture. Lip sync or get the f*** out. <laughs> oh, here we go. The pot night. This man looks like he might have some insight. Okay. Sticking with the theme of police jokes, but this time it's a blonde joke too. Oh, so right. if you're easily offended, just go ahead and keep scrolling. You don't need to know. Oh my God. <laughs> He's already exposing himself so bad. That's like such a classic boomer phrase. If you're offended easily, just keep scrolling, snowflake. <laughs> At any rate, so a blonde police officer pulls over a driver for speeding, walks up there and goes, hey, can I have your license and registration? So the, um, the driver, who is also a blonde, reaches into her glove box, grabs out her insurance, digs around into her purse, grabs a mirror, hands them both to the police officer. The police officer looks at the insurance, looks at the uh, mirror and goes, oh, I didn't know you were a police officer. Here, have a nice day, ma'am, and walks away. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's right up my alley. Now that's something I can do. Hold on. Okay, let's get this in there. Hey guys, first off, if you're easily offended, stupid snowflake pussy, just keep scrolling, <laughs> okay? Here's, um... Two, two blondes were trying to unlock their car, and the first, the first blonde out of, there's two blondes, the first blonde tried to unlock it with a coat hanger, and the second blonde says, hurry up, it's starting to rain, and the top is down. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> blondes, am I right? Lots of lettuce. <laughs> Hashtag blondes are dumb lol. Go ahead and post that. Hey guys, first off, if you're easily offended, there it is. So, I guess we just let that joke marinate for a few as we sit back and watch the followers start rolling in. And while we do, let's talk briefly about how you can enjoy these fresh, uh, hilarious new TikToks through a pair of new true wireless headphones from today's video sponsor, Raycon. The Raycon E50s are a true wireless Bluetooth headphone solution that are actually very stylish and offered in a selection of great colors. Now, as an active guy myself, I have used dozens of headphones throughout the years, and in my experience, the Raycon E50s are the sleekest and most comfortable that I have used, whether you're on a hands-free call or muscling through a sweaty workout. They sound great, and you can barely even tell that they're there. The case is slick and discreet and acts as a portable charger as well, so you get five full charges on the go before you even have to plug back in. There's 
There's a handful of impressive styles to choose from, but it's the comfort and the convenience of the E50s that really grabbed me. You just take them out of the case, they turn on and pair automatically, and you're set to jet. Now they fit my ears perfectly right out of the box, but they also include a bunch of silicone tips for any size ear. Now Raycon earbuds started about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market, but you can get an additional 15% off by using my link in the description, buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. So if you're ready for a new pair of true wireless headphones, use my link in the description and save yourself 15% today. All right, so it's been a minute, so let's take a look here. Um, one view, which I think was from me. Okay, so let's uh, let's keep forging ahead. Looks like we got some more work to do. Okay, I'm gonna turn you on. All right, go ahead. Okay, you ready? <laughs> here goes. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Look, whoa, 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 hold, hold on a second. Okay, Cindy bringing the steam. And there's one thing I've learned on the internet is when you're trying to grow on social media, just emulate what's already working. Okay, I'm gonna turn you on. All right, go ahead. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here goes. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Look, whoa, 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 hold, hold on a second. Wait, wait. I, I... All right, I don't want to jump the gun, but I'd say, uh... I think I'm off to a pretty promising start, if I'm being honest. Oh no, sweetie, this is Grandma's special old people apple juice. It'll give you wrinkles. It'll make you pee yourself when you sneeze. You know, I've long said that jokes about casual alcoholism are one of the main pillars of boomer comedy, and I'm glad to see that playing out here on TikTok. I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. I think I'm confused. I thought this app was like for anybody. But apparently a bunch of kids think I should grow up and stop the gross old people stuff. <laughs> you grow up. You know what? I love this from Fluffy McLovin. Stand in her ground, not tolerating this ageist bullying from these spoiled brat kids that think this app is theirs, worried that old people are going to ruin it for them. Like, we get it. TikTok was built on the backs of pre-adolescent kids trying to look cute while they lip sync over whatever flavor of the week top 40 trash is popular. But the boomers are here now, baby, and we're here to stay. Tell us to grow up. You grow the f up! I think I'm confused. I thought this app was, like, for anybody. But apparently a bunch of kids think I should grow up and stop the gross old people stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you grow up. I just have to thank Shauna Kay for that. I mean, her original boomer TikTok walked so that my lip synced version could run. I mean, we're really making some progress here. I hate old people, 75,000 likes. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of ageist discrimination that we face as we try and navigate life as a new TikToker. And it's not okay. It's uncalled for. What's she have to say? Yo, baby boomers are always like, kids only know how to use their phones and not go outside. Kind of true. Well, what the fuck can you guys do? Collapse the economy, perpetuate a national mental illness epidemic, bomb other countries. Okay, first of all, sarcasm aside for a second, shut the f*** up. And secondly, I can juggle Philip, so shut your jerk ass mouth. Oh, See how many older people are starting to get on TikTok now? <laughs> they ruin everything, like stay in your lane over there on Faith Space or whatever it is that all you old people do. They're like 30. I wouldn't be caught dead on TikTok when I'm 30, okay? I'll be retired by then. Okay, this is ridiculous. I refuse to sit here and listen to this rat's nest wearing a camouflage t-shirt tell me to stay in my lane. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but with age comes wisdom, and with wisdom comes power, and with power comes the ability to choose your own lane, and right now, my fucking lane is TikTok, and I ain't going fucking nowhere, bitch! Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Ooh. These dumb, stupid, young cunts on TikTok. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I'm at peace. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm getting a little sidetracked by these young kids. You know, they don't know any better. I get it. Just, there's kids, right? So it's, I'm going to stop focusing on them. Ugh. Continue to try and look at what's working for other boomers. I gotta stop thinking about the kids. It's really, it's... TikTok is not for old people. It's for young people who use filters to look old. You see, that's what I'm talking about, baby. A little boomer self-aware comedy from a man that could have easily been Gimli's stunt double in Lord of the Rings. Let's take a look here. 250k, goddamn! My man Tiz Yenton is holding it down for Team Boomer right now. Very impressed, although I will say it's probably the majesty of that 
salt and pepper beard that's responsible for a lot of these follows. But you know what I'm saying? Lean into your strengths, and Tizzy is doing that. Well, this is a good one. This is where you as a parent have your child pretend to be part of a violent street gang uh, to a nursery rhyme sounding song. Something that could get him beaten and or killed by either the Bloods or the Crips. Really good job, Mom. And he's out here scolding parents for failing to parent properly? <sighs> This boy is my soulmate. Welcome. I'm going to take you on a tour of my underwear. These ones are pretty nice. So are these. These sort of squish my ooh, sexy time. I'm going to take you on a tour of my underwear. These are, um, well, you know, actually, to be honest, these are the only pair of clean underwear I have right now. It's laundry day. That and the ones, oh, well, I'm actually not even wearing any. All right. I was not prepared for this one. I, how do you, I guess, how do you delete? This? All right, I tried to follow his lead with the underwear tour TikTok, and um, I failed. I failed very badly. It was I was ill prepared. I think I just jumped the gun too soon, trying to get into the more intermediate TikToks, and I wasn't ready. So I. Ugh. <laughs>